Later this year, the little town of Ulverston in the Lake District will witness the invasion of hundreds of devoted Laurel and Hardy fans. They'll all be celebrating the 100th anniversary of Stan Laurel's Giles Street in Ulverston that Stan Laurel was born. Bill Cuban is the curator of the one and only Laurel and Hardy Museum in the world, in Ulverston of course, and he's looking forward to an exciting year of celebration. And dressed like that, Bill, I'm not surprised. Why, <laughs> why, I mean, people said at the beginning of the show, are you dressed like that for a bet? Why yeah. are you dressed like that? <laughs> well, this is the uh, uh, fun regalia of the Sons of the Desert, the Laurel and Hardy Appreciation Society, which is just a fun thing. I mean, this world today, we need some laughter and uh, Laurel and Hardy have provided it. This came out of one of their films, didn't it? Yes, Fraternally Yours, one of the best films they made, and now we have a worldwide organisation, which uh, uh, is just great fun. We and have they all wear the fezes and everything that goes with it? Fez and sash, and in Olverson this year we'll be having a great time. Right. And, um, I mean, the, the, the organisations are called tents, so there's tents all over the world, yeah? The sands yeah, of the desert. That's right. And, of course, uh, it is a worldwide thing, and uh, people that don't understand the language, uh, foreign people, uh, understand Laurel and Hardy because it's a very visual and good, honest, clean type of humour. They may understand the humour, but many people, uh, and I know for a fact, had no idea that he was born in the UK, let alone in Elverston. That's right. Uh, Stan was born there just a hundred years ago, and it's amazing how many people think that he was an American, but uh, uh, Oliver Hardy was, of course, from Harlem, Georgia, uh, in the States, and they met on the Halrott studio set purely by chance. Do we know much about uh, his life before he went out to the States? Oh, yes. I've got a tremendous amount of information about Stan. He obviously lived in Ulverston for a few years and went up to the northeast, to Glasgow. And then he joined the Fred Carnot group, Fred Carnot's army, as it was known. Yeah. And with Chaplin, went to America in 1910. So he 20. was on the boat with Chaplin, was he? He was, indeed. He understood Chaplin in the shows. Why did they get together, do you think, with, with, with uh, Oliver Hardy? I think Laurel and Hardy came together because they were... Uh, looking at the time, Hal Roach was looking at the time for a comedy uh, duo, and uh, they just happened to, to hit it off. And in fact, in 1927, they made some 13 films, so they had a very prolific uh, uh, number of Did films. Did it indeed? This, this, is, this is something from the museum. Yes, it's uh, very rare, and of course, it was in 1919. You see, Stan has red hair, too. Yes, he's got the hair on that one. No, <laughs> no don't matter, red, but he's got hair anyway. <laughs> This was the first picture of them that together? That was the first film in which they appeared together, but it wasn't a Laurel and Hardy film. It's interesting at the bottom it says featuring Stan Laurel, but it doesn't mention Oliver Hardy. Oliver Hardy that's right, yes. Uh, well, of course, that was the start of the career started in 1927 and went on for over 30 years, and they made 105 films. They were prolific, weren't they? Marvellous. Let, let's just have a, a look at a quick a clip of a, a film. It wasn't exactly one of theirs, but they were playing cameo roles in, in another film called Fast and Loose. <laughs> Thank you, boy. Where you be when I need you? Right here. Okay. I told you not to make that last payment. <laughs> <laughs> the audience here are laughing. I mean, it still gets the laughs, doesn't it? There are, there are some films missing, though, aren't there? You've got lots in your collection there. Yes, there are two missing films, Hats Off and The Rogue Song. Although I do have a, a very short clip, which was... Uh, uh, all those left of the Rogue Song, they were made on nitrate. So if anybody in their attics finds those two missing films, they immediately become multimillionaires. They're if they're out there, I'm sure really they'll very, very give you a ring, Bill, and get oh, them please, in the museum. Oh, please, yes, I'll be, I'll be there right away. What are the celebrations going to consist of then next year? Oh, this, year this year, rather. There's a lot going on this year. We have an exhibition in, in Blackpool starting. We've got a convention in Blackpool. We also have, of course, um, in Ulverston at Easter, we have the egg rolling. And, of course, the big day is... June the 16th, Stan's birthday, 100th birthday. It's a Saturday. We've got a big parade of the Sons of the Desert worldwide, and we have a big gala concert in the Coronation Hall in the evening. So it's going to be a great year. And people will be flocking in from all over the world? All over the world. Yes, the banners will be flying. We'll all be wearing our fezes and sashes and having a great time. And lots of cocktails. Stan loved uh, cocktails, and that's uh, part of the fun. We've got the, um, the golden pineapple here on the front table, which is significant. Yes, that was uh, presented that. by the Leave em Laughing Tent in Liverpool. The, and it, the Leave em Laughing Tent. <laughs> Everyone's named after a Laurel and Hardy film. Got you. And that signifies the, uh, the, 
the conventions, you see, everybody passes the pineapple. Because <laughs> in the film Sons of the Desert, Stan and Ollie had been to Honolulu. At least the wives thought they'd been to Honolulu, so they brought some pineapples back and hence the pineapple. Did you ever meet the great man then? I never met Lol and Hardy, but I would have loved to have done that. They, they were in Ulverston in 1947, and they appeared on the balcony at the Cor Coronation Hall, and that's where we're having the big event in June. Now, I, well, I, I find it amazing that there is a tent in, in places like Japan. Yes. Right? The, the yes, they don't understand the language, but uh, they enjoy the humour, because it's so visual. Everybody loves Lol and Hardy. Are there any of his relations still around in the UK? Yes, Nancy Wardell's from Dewsbury, and uh, there are uh, st relations of Stan's uh, sister uh, up in Blythe, uh, Huntley Wood. And so we do, we, we'll hope to have them all there for the big day. Well, I know Argyle Street in Ulverston, and it's not a very big place, is it? What's no. going to happen when everybody piles in there? Ah, well, I've got the local school, I've got the playground, which is alongside Argyle Street, so I'm hoping to have maybe 10,000 people. Do you think as many as that will oh, turn up for it? Oh, more, more. Well, listen, it's been a great pleasure talking to you today. Right. I hope it goes very well for you this year, the uh, 100th sure year celebrations. And uh, keep the fez on, won't you? <laughs> I'll do my best. <laughs> Bill, Thank you very much for joining us. Right. Now, let's go back and uh, read.